so I've had a, uh, a lot of people reach out um, just over the last couple uh, days asking me about follower growth numbers on uh, Periscope versus Meerkat. Um, and I just want to jump on real quick. And, um, you know, for me, um, there's a, a definitely a difference because of when I adopted it and when I got in on Meerkat. But um, there's kind of a different way I've kind of found when people are actually um, searching or trying to grow their followers. Um, <laughs> nice. Thanks. Glad it was a good timing. <laughs> Um, but for me, um, for Periscope growth, it seems like you really do have to engage in other people's um, Periscopes and comment. A, um, and then when you comment and you're providing value in the comments, people will actually start following you um, and then following your streams uh, moving forward. Um, where on Meerkat, it seems like more people actually find you either via Twitter or through the search feature. So it does seem to be a little bit of a, um, a complete difference in not only how people are um, finding followers, but also kind of how they're engaging um, from a standpoint of where they um, find followers. Because on Meerkat, you can do the same thing. You can tap on their name and follow them, but that's kind of a new feature. Um, yes, some substance for sure. Um, and really, I mean, you have to be providing value. Ultimately, if you're not providing value, if you're wasting people's time, um, there is a, an element where shock TV happens, where people like, um, hey, Ryan, uh, Nate, Nate who? Uh, Nate Washington or Worthington? Um, I'm following Nate now, if that's who you're talking about, Ryan. Uh, oh, yeah, Downtown Phoenix. How about that? I'll be in Downtown Phoenix uh, tonight. Uh yeah, I know. I'm moving from Arizona, but I'll be there tonight with Ted Rubin. Um, we're having a meetup tonight, uh, Phoenix Tweet Up, um, meeting a whole bunch of people here from Arizona, about 40 people, I think. Um, but yeah, so one of the things I kind of found was if you're commenting and engaging in people's feeds inside of Periscope, um, you have a, hey, all right, Scotland, um, you have a much better, um, higher uh, chance of people following you because they click on your name and then click view profile and then click follow. Um, and because you don't have a landing page, you know, on Meerkat, um, you have a, you have a user page. So meerkat.co backslash isocialfans. Um, which do I use more? Right now I use them both kind of almost the same. I do a lot of uh, engagement on um, both of them at the same time. But for me, um, I've been on Meerkat a lot longer. I've done twice as many, more than twice as many um, on Meerkat than I have um, on Periscope. So yeah, commenting on people's broadcasts seems to be the number one um, best way to grow followers on Periscope. Where on Meerkat, if you're sharing out you know, meerkat.co backslash your Twitter handle. And you put that on Twitter, you put that on Facebook, you put that on um, LinkedIn, you put it on Google+, Plus, um, all of those channels. If you focus on uh, kind of promoting and sharing your your really your landing page, it seems that Meerkat um, growth seems to be that a little different. Uh, yeah, landing pages exist for Meerkat. They don't exist for Periscope. That's one of the five things that I would love Periscope to adopt. Um, social media presence is about bridging your community as well. Wish Periscope had unique URL for users. Yes, unique URL, which I call landing page. Um, and I think that's, uh, I'm pretty confident that'll be there in the near future. Um, cross promotion is good. To me, it's all about bridging your communities. So I had a lot of people that were tweeting at me and actually emailing me and questioning and asking me, hey, how do I grow my followers? Where do my followers come from? Um, see, Jeff, but um, I see, I hear a lot of people that say the other way, but Jeff, you and I were in on Meerkat way earlier than most. Um, I know I do like that. You know, if this, then that recipe, I'm using if this, then that recipe as well. Um, you yeah, know, speaking people around the world, no limitations. That's my favorite thing on social. And that's pretty good. Uh, have I put my list online anywhere? Um, yeah, well, I, Meerkat automatically does that for me. Meerkat automatically pushes my, um, my live feeds to my Facebook page. Um, I think you should, I think different content's good. Yeah. Earlier users on Meerkat had a huge advantage. <clears throat> yes, I agree. I know. Um, I was I was lucky to have one of those ones. I started on March 2nd on Meerkat. Um, I started on the first day of Periscope as well. But um, yeah, my follower growth on Periscope is something like 10 to 15 people a week, where on Meerkat, I'm still um, upwards of 100 or 150 people a week. Um, and I use them both kind of simultaneously in the same almost. Um, oh, you didn't, you didn't. Oh, really, Jeff? Wow, that's impressive. You've been growing that much of your followers without that. Uh, what time and address of tweet meetup tonight? Um, it's, uh, oh yeah, it's in, uh, sure, the tweet meetup is at 7 p.m. Um, I will retweet the, uh, the piece because uh, I, I, I don't know where it's at. February 27th, but it was Android Watch Only Client. Ah, 
Oh, there's Vincent. At that meetup as well. Man, why is my camera all screwed up? Oh, that's not good. Um, hey, Kristen Cardos and Matt. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of my thing. So um, it really does come down to commenting on Periscopes, and it comes down to sharing your landing page and unique URL on uh, Meerkat. Um, that's kind of the way, one of the big things for me when it comes to follower growth side. Um, yeah, I know. I don't know why my camera was flipping back and forth like that. That was really, really weird. Um, oh, very cool. The real harsh man. There you go. See, the real harsh man, you jumped in here and provided value. And now I'm following you on, uh, Periscope. So my five feature requests for Periscope. Here you go, Jeff. They're pretty easy. Commenting on the browser, allowing those that watch on the browser to comment, allow the streamer to, um, scroll comments and not have comments disappear. Allow the streamer to comment themselves, so just in case they're streaming something where they can't talk, they can actively comment. The fourth one is allowing, giving the option to the users that are watching to have the option to post those comments to Twitter. That would be number four. And then number five um, is a pretty easy one when it comes to uh, allowing people to retweet to that side. So um, 